Thursday against Illinois. We'll get to Carson in a second. Now, the Purdue seniors is how we started things off. State Farm Center is the only building in the Big Ten that those seniors have not won at. Isaac, Dakota, and Vince, who didn't play in this game, all took a backseat to Carson Edwards, who is your motorist insurance group. Drive to the hoop. Monster Slam was just the beginning for the star of the Boilermaker offense, leading scorer. And yet, he did have some help, especially deep from Dakota. Matthias, 45% from behind the arc on the year, has tapered off over the last four or five. You would not know it tonight. The senior, four of eight from deep. The three-point shooting, a big reason, along with Carson Edwards, the Boilermakers were able to get an elusive win. That was nine straight made shots for the Boilermakers at one point, but Tijon Lucas later in the first half drills a three. DeMonte Williams comes back. The Fightins end the half on a 10-3 run, but we're still down by five at the break. Now, Andy, in the second half, we really got to see more of what Carson Edwards can well, do. Well, he did a sensational job of obviously asserting himself without Vincent Edwards on the floor. And taking control, and as a dominating ball guard, Sean, that's the kind of player that, not just in a conference tournament, but in the NCAA tournament, can get you all the way to a Final Four. Here's LeBron Black, another man who's playing some great ball right now. Always bet on Black, Mike. <laughs> Four straight 20-point games for LeBron. Here's Carson. <laughs> Once again, a career high for Carson Edwards. Purdue takes a seven-point lead, and moments later, more from number three. The found art of the mid-range jumper. He finishes with a career high 40 points. Big Dog was the last time a Boilermaker scored 40 in 1994. 93 to 86 is your final score. That makes it now four of the last five games that Carson has played. He scored 22 points or more. And again, they did all this 93 points without Vince Edwards, who's sitting out his second game due to that ankle injury. Bill Raftery afterwards with the star of the night. Uh, I know, Carson, you're not into points, but pretty spectacular evening. Did anybody tell you how many you had? Uh, I mean, nah. I mean, they were kind of messing with me about it, but you could, you just kind of playing. You can feel it. You're feeling it. You know, you kind of know where you're kind of range as a, as a score. I kind of can range, but I just want to win the game, man. Those games like that are fun. Those where they fight, great Illinois team. You know, just playing it was enjoy. I enjoyed it. By the way, it was 40. By the way, you yes, know, sir. Uh, when you play against a team like this, preparation so important. You know, they're going to get after you. Uh, you guys seem ready though. Yes, sir. I mean, we understood We understood what they were coming in. They're a physical team and like the pressure of the ball. But, you know, we we're just trying to make sure we stay space and handle the ball. You know, just make plays. When it, don't pick up your dribble and just make plays when we're out in the open like that. Pretty nice to have those two big guys in the middle if you, if you need some help, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Rebounding the ball and protecting the rim and just be able to throw it inside to them. So it's it good to have them, too. You know, Matt Painter's known as a defensive coach. You're making him an offensive coach now. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i just trying to, trying to run the plays. But when I make shots fall and everything, he kind of gives me a little freedom. But just playing to win. Uh, keep running those plays. We'll see you late in March. Yes, sir. I hope so.